Hey everyone, quick back chemistry basics here. Let's talk about properties of amino acids. Let's talk about the physical properties of amino acids. Amino acids are soluble in water and insoluble in organic compounds. Melting point. Most of the amino acids have the melting point above 200 degrees Celsius. Taste. Amino acids can be sweet, tasteless or bitter. Optical properties. When an unpolarized light is passed through a polarizer, it gets plane polarized. The amino acid can rotate the plane polarized light in left or right direction. On the basis of this, they are classified as D-amino acid or the L-amino acid. Amino acids behave as ampholytes. The amino group of the amino acid have tendency to accept H+, and become NH3+, while the carboxyl group of amino acid have tendency to donate H+, and become COO-. Zwitterion formation. Depending on the pH, the amino acid can either have positive or a negative charge. Usually under acidic conditions, the amino acid will have a positive charge, while under alkaline conditions, the amino acids will have a negative charge. However, at isoelectric pH, the amino acid will have a positive as well as a negative charge. Hence, the net charge on the amino acid will be zero. This pH is called an isoelectric pH and the amino acid is called a zwitterion. Now let's talk about the chemical properties of amino acids. Chemical properties of amino acids are because of the presence of amino group and the carboxyl group. Carboxyl group of amino acid can react with sodium hydroxide to form the respective salt. While the decarboxylation of carboxyl group releases CO2 and results in formation of amines. Reaction with ammonia. The carboxyl group of amino acid can react with ammonia to form amides. For example, aspartic acid reacts with ammonia to form aspargine, while glutamic acid reacts with ammonia to form glutamine. Reactions of the amino group Reaction with ninhydrin. Amino acid can react with a reagent like ninhydrin and reduce ninhydrin which looks purple or pink in color. Transamination reaction in this reaction, the amino acid donates its amino group to a keto acid which results in the conversion of keto acid into a new amino acid. Oxidative deamination. In this reaction, in presence of oxygen, the amino group reacts with oxygen and releases ammonia. This results in formation of a keto acid.